our father in heaven, hallowed be your name. I gave my life to God when I was 17 years old. I knew that I needed to follow Jesus when I was 14 years old. Your kingdom come. I gave my life to the Lord when I was about 13. I gave my life to the Lord when I was 12 years old. The whole family did as a Presbyterian service by, it was given by a blind evangelist. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I was in a Christian holiday camp just outside of Wanganui called Green Pastures. I was on a crusade when I um, when I decided to give my heart to the Lord and when they made the altar call, I ran up a truck. Give us this day our daily bread. Ever since I became a Christian, God has always been that constant. The Satan is with that, he's the same. He's there today and forever and throughout my entire life, even though things change, even though storms come. God is always that constant and I can always rely on Him. One of the highlights of my experience in serving the Lord was when I joined a team of young people, uh, Youth for Christ. We worked together, we travelled over New Zealand, we, we played music and we sang songs and we were bound together in the love of Christ. And we give us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Um, I got myself involved with uh, a youth group and taking, um, looking after uh, youth, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And it's just been an awesome journey. I can always rely on His Word to guide me and His Spirit to direct me. And do not let us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I was doing part-time ministry and we went for a whole week, nearly a fortnight, without a penny in our purse. And during that time, God provided every single meal. Even in my lowest time, at times I did rely on, on people to get me through, but realised that they weren't always going to be there, but Jesus never leaves your side. And so when I went through the darkest times, he was the one that I relied on, and he was the one that got me through. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever. 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 In Galatians 5 verse 7, the Apostle Paul asks the question, You were running well. Who hindered you from obeying the truth? God wants us to run the race of life really well. And many times believers stumble, but it's God's desire that we run well. We need to identify what is hindering us from running well. The truth is, we don't want you to run until you're 18 and you leave school. We want you to run well until you're 80 and beyond. 80 plus. Amen. Amen.